creating a resume, a CV, curriculum vitae, or a resume is a document that chronicles your achievements related to the work you are looking for to securing. It is a self-styled presentation of your competences, experiences, and achievements. Your CV is more like a sales brochure that clearly spells out your unique selling points or your competitive advantage over other prospects for the same role. There is really no universally accepted format for your CV, but let me give you a few things you should consider when putting up together your CV. Number one is your identification. Ensure you've got your personal details in your CV. Next, personal statement of a career objective. You should be able to say something about your quest in the world of work. Your academic credentials, formal and informal academic credentials, you should be able to state them in this resume. Your personal attributes, you should be able to tell if you're a go-getter, a dynamic thinker, an idealist, whatever your attributes may be. You should also be able to set out your skills. What are those learned abilities of yours that you've acquired in training? And next, your CV should contain capacity development programs that you've attended, conferences, workshops, webinars, seminars, all of those capacity development programs that have enabled you to improve your capacity to develop results in the organization. Next, you have relevant work experiences. Where have you worked before? What have you done before? Volunteer work will pass here as well. Paid jobs will pass here as well. Relevant work experiences, what you've done before, what you've been part of before, whether volunteer work, internships, paid employment, or unpaid employment, as the case may be. Your CV should also consider your interests, your hobbies, what are those things that you like to do enthusiastically, passionately, without even being paid for it. Something you just love to do, gardening, traveling, some things you do for leisure. And finally, you should situate your professional affiliations. Are you a member of the IEEE? Are you a member of um, some professional associations, ICANN, CIBN? You should be able to state that also in your resume. You see, the change that your CV should have will be related to the job you apply for. Ensure you change your CV for each job you apply for because every CV is targeted at a particular job role. So should you be applying for a job as a digital marketer? The way you situate your CV and the things that you have as your abilities will be different if you are applying for a role as a graduate assistant in a university. Look carefully at the job description that you're applying for and emphasize the skills or experiences mentioned there. You will also know that the purpose of your CV is not to get you the job, but to get you an interview. And always remember, that you are not writing your CV for yourself. You're writing it for the reader. And as you do so, you want to ensure that the person is interested in you so he can call on you for a chat.